the statement uh, for the numerical on portrait angle is a 10 kva 440 volt 50 hertz three phase star connector alternator has open circuit characteristic as follows so these are the reading uh, these are the uh, uh, readings of IF versus EOC and just make sure that this is in phase per phase quantities so with full load zero power factor the applied excitation required to required is 14 ampere to produce 500 volt so this is nothing but the uh, full load uh, reading of voltage okay that is the rated voltage at full load at that time the field current was 14 ampere of the terminal voltage and on short circuit 4 ampere field current is required to give the full load current so determine the voltage required for 0 0.8 power factor lagging using portrait angle method so what we will do we will just uh, initially plot this uh, curve uh, the value of IF it is starting from 1.5 and ending with 15 so I will consider for x axis for x axis CL scale on x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 ampere and for y axis CL it is uh, maximum is 400 so what we will do uh, i will consider one centimeter is equal to 25 volt so for y axis one centimeter is equal to 25 volt and accordingly i will just uh, place the reading so let us suppose here 4 5 14 and 15 and similarly as i told you for the y axis we have considered one centimeter is equal to 25 so this is 25 again 375 or let us suppose 400 so this is 400 well just mark uh, the scale point on uh, x-axis as well as y-axis actually it is not required isc let it be so we'll consider this is the zero point so let us plot the uh, this eoc per phase okay so for 1.5 ampere it is 86.6 so i will mark the first reading this is 1.5 am i right yes please i need a response so that i will uh, come to know yes, that please. you are okay so this is 1.5 at 1.5 what is the reading it is 86.5 okay so see here uh these are the 10 line right okay these are the 10 line that means one line is equal to how much if it is 25 one centimeter is equal to 25 that means this one line it will be how much volt 25 by 10 it is 2.5 volt okay so i want to mark for 86 point how much 86 point 6 okay so it will be near about here 75 okay here is a 100 what will be this point 75 plus 12.5 will require 86.5 so at this, it is 87 point how much so this this point will be near about this okay little bit downside am i right see here this point is 87 point something so it will be here 86 point something okay so at 1.5 first point is this one right second reading i will mark it second will be just tell me three at three it is 173.2 so at three it is 173 so here it is 175 okay so i will just mark here it will be near about this point am i right it is panchatra a line is equal to how much 2.5 so as it is 173.5, 173.2, so I will get a second point here. Then third reading will be at 5 ampere, voltage is 254. So this is 5 ampere and uh, 254. So I will get this point. Next is a, for 8, it is 317. So this is my 8 and on 8 it is 300 and how much 17 so for 8 ampere 317 so here it is 25 
so below that there will be a 375 sorry 17 at 11 ampere it is 346 so for 11 ampere 346 so this line is 350 so below that we will get 346 again next will be for 15 ampere it is 366 so this is 15 ampere and uh, the last reading was 366 so 366 50 60 so it will be near about this just a little bit below okay so what i will do i will just join this line to get which curve is this yes please this is which curve so by joining this i will get open circuit test characteristic okay so this is occ now second point okay if this is plotted next is what we have to do can you tell me we know that tangent yeah we have to plot the tangent that is the air gap line so from this line i will just draw the tangent which is just like this this is the tangent and it is called as a air gap line next step we have to mark the field current which causes the short circuit current or a rated current to flow through the armature so in numerical they have mentioned see on short circuit 4 ampere field current is required to give the full load current okay so i have to plot this 4 ampere on x axis okay as the terminal are short circuited if this is armature okay and these terminals are short circuited that means the voltage across this is zero and the current flowing through this is isc or i rated okay and we know the field current this if at which i rated is flowing through the armature winding upon short circuit and th this field current we have to plot on x axis okay so here this field current is 4 ampere so i will plot that what is the scale for x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 ampere so i will plot this up to here this is our point a any doubt yes or no okay. okay so have you got it means how to plot this point a it is nothing but the field current okay this length is nothing but the field current which causes the rated current to flow in the armature winding upon short circuit okay so once it is marked we have to mark the second point which is point p okay how to uh, what is point p it is nothing but the field current at which we are getting the rated voltage right rated voltage across the terminal but this 500 volt it is a line voltage so next is we have to calculate the phase voltage so how to calculate phase voltage here phi phase is equal to 500 divided by root 3 so how much it is 288.67 volt so at 14 amperes that is if is equal to 14 ampere phi ph is equal to 288.67 on full load so we'll mark this two readings to get point p or point p so let us see for 14 ampere we are getting 288 so here is a 14 ampere right and if i will check we want 288 so this is 275 okay so 275 plus how much is equal to 288 288 minus 275 how much it is 13. 13. so 
one line is means if we consider this point is 275 and this is 100 300 okay so this one line is equivalent to 2.5 okay so 13 divided by 2.5 how much it is near about 2 right 2 point something 5.2 13 divided by 2.5 is equal to 5 point? 2. 2. That means above this line, this point, okay, I have to go further 5 lines approximately to get point P. So I got point P and A here, okay. 8, okay. So it will become near about this. Now we have to join point A and P in such a way that it will be that curve will be parallel to OCC, okay? And that curve is nothing but the zero power factor curve, okay? So I will just mark this curve nearly. Parallel to this. Okay. Now, next step, can you tell me? What is the next step? Yes, please. Draw a parallel line to X axis from point P, which is having length equal to OA. So what is the length of OA? Four. Four. OK, so here is a P. One, two, three and four. So up to this point, we have to draw a parallel line okay to get point q next step <coughs> draw a parallel line to air air gap line from point q so just see here to get point r and finally join r and p And after that, draw a perpendicular line from point R on QP to get point S. Is it clear? Yes or no? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we have to measure the length of RS and length of SP. Okay. Or PS. What is the length of RS from this? Length of? RS is equal to how much? See this. Or by using scale, we'll Let us check. It is equal to 2.56 near about 7. Is it? It is 2.7. So length of RS is equal to 2.7 centimeter. And length of SP will be? This is. one two and three so three centimeter length of ps is equal to three centimeter is it clear yes or no is this clear yes sir okay so generally you know that length of rs denote the yes this length denote the which draw <laughs> leakage reactance and this sp sp denotes the field current, field current, yeah, which overcomes the armature reaction effect. Okay, so let us solve the further numerical. Now, next step if when we have plotted this graph, after that we have to calculate Vt. So, step one Vt, which is equal to Vph, which is equal to what is the Vl upon root 3. Tell me, Vl is equal to how much? See the numerical from this numerical. Tell me the value of VL. It is equal to 440 volt. Am I right? 440. Okay, so it will be 440 divided by root 3, 0, 3 volt. Okay, second step we have to calculate IA. Here they have given 10 kVA, right? 10 kVA. So it will be 
yes into 10 raised to 3 upon root 3 into 3L. So yes is equal to 10 into 10 raised to 3 divided by root 3 into 440. Yes, 13.12 amp. Third step, from Portier triangle, I A into Excel. This drop, it is nothing but the length of areas into voltage scale. So what is the length of areas? You just told me that length of areas denotes the leakage reactance drop, and the length of areas is 2.7 centimeter, and voltage scale is equal to 25. So this will be 2.7. 7 into 25. Yes, tell me the answer. Fifty seven point five. Fifty seven point. Sixty seven point. Sixty seven point five volt. And I of two. You know that I of two is nothing but the current which overcomes the armature reaction effect, which is nothing but the length of PS into current scale. So here length of PS is equal to how much? The length of PS is equal to 3 centimeters. So 3 into current scale is equal to 1. So this is equal to 3 ampere. Any doubt? Yes or no? So no, sir. So can you tell me what is the next step? Yes, please. Step number four. Have you written the steps for lagging power factor? You have to calculate E0 mm -hmm. dash. E0 dash is equal to how much? As it is lagging power factor, what will be the formula? Vt cos phi plus IARA whole square plus here it is Vt sin phi plus or minus plus plus and what is the i a uh, into xl whole square okay so let us place the values vt is equal to how much check vt is equal to 254.03 254.03 into cos phi is equal to how much 0 0.8 plus IA, IA is equal to 13.12 into RA, Kitila RA, armature resistance, yes please, is it given, RA delay laiga, check the numerical, No, so we will neglect the RA, okay. So RA is not given, so we will neglect. That means this value is 0, okay. Plus Vt is equal to 254.03 into sin phi ki 0 0.6. Plus what is IA XL drop? I into XL is equal to how much? 67.5. So this is equal to 67.5 whole square i will mark uh, mention the comment that is as ra is not given hence it is neglected okay so do the calculation for this that is 254.03 into 0.8 square plus 254.03 into 0.6 plus 67.5 whole square yes what is the answer 
क्रॉस चेक वंस बाकी चैनल चेक करा Just please do it immediately. बाकी होना चाहिए का बरोबर आंसर सेम नियरली Two hundred, am I right? Okay, so I will find out the I of one for two hundred and ninety-nine. So it is equal to if I am going to plot this on this point, and E find out the I of. So Can you tell me the answer? Sorry, we have to. Three point five. It is equal to two hundred and ninety-nine. Huh? I have just plotted for two hundred. It will be here, right? Or two hundred and ninety-nine means this is this, this will be the point. What about it? Come. Me two hundred consider. I have considered one hundred. So corresponding to two hundred and ninety-nine, what is the field current here? It is equal to seven ampere. So this is I of one. Am I right? This is two hundred and ninety-nine. On so this is E zero dash corresponding to E zero dash there will be I of one so from OCC from open circuit test characteristic obtain I of one corresponding to E zero dash so from Graph we get seven ampere corresponding to what? Corresponding to two ninety nine point one three volt. Okay, so we are having I of one as a seven ampere. Once I of one is known, I of two is also already known. Okay, we have calculated it. So for lagging power factor. Power factor. What is I of I of will be under root I of one square plus I of two square plus twice I of one I of two into sine phi. Okay. So, so let us do the calculation accordingly. What is the value of I of one? I of is equal to under root. I of one is equal to seven square plus what is I of two? Anyone please? I of two is equal to how much? Three ampere plus twice mm. three into seven into sine phi is equal to zero point six. So it will be. Tell me the answer. I of is equal to. Nine point one two ampere. Okay, so once I F is known, find out the corresponding voltage. Okay, so from O C C, O C C, find E P H. Okay, so let us find out for nine point one two. Okay, so here is the nine. And here it will be nine point one two. So I will just project this. 
on our OCC. And the corresponding voltage. It will be near about 325. So I will consider this as a 330, okay? Or 25 plus, okay, 330 volt. So let us check. EPH is equal to 330 volt corresponding to IF is equal to 9.12 ampere. So once EPH is known, last step, the percentage voltage regulation, percentage R is equal to what? EPH minus VT upon VT into 100. So what is EPH here? 330. VT is equal to 254.03 divided by 254.03 into 100. 29.90. 29.9 percent this is the percent percentage voltage regulation 